Listen, this is a must watch. Now, I'm not going to go into full spoilers here because I am rewatching the entire show, going through interviews, learning quantum physics in order to make a full LME on this masterpiece, but this is more like a PSA to put it on your radar in case it isn't, or, you know, to convince you to stop scrolling past it on Netflix. So, let me. It's the first German original series by Netflix, and it's created by Baron Boldar and Yanti Fries. How you go from directing Sleepless to this work of art, I don't know, but it clearly led them down the path to it, so I'm not complaining. In fact, they had all three seasons planned out from the start. They were able to premiere on the dates the episodes take place and direct all 26 episodes, which is crazy when you consider how many networks back in the day used to milk the hell out of their successful series. We were developing or had developed a TV series that was much more more like a crime drama and didn't have any... Like The Missing, you know, the UK show? Um, but it had been, it's like an old thing and we were kind of bored by it already anyway. So we thought, okay, we need something to spice this up. We need one more element. And we were also working on a um, time travel movie at the same time. So we had all this stuff on the table and thinking, okay, so what are we going to pitch Netflix? And they were just lying next to each other. And we were like, okay, how about we merge those um, two? And that's when suddenly the spark was there. Now, originally I kept holding it off, even though Alina kept recommending it to me. My friend Rihanna was sending me death threats to watch it, but it wasn't until, no lie, a book was mailed to me with no return label, claiming to be written by a time traveler that I was like, uh? Turns out it's the book by the clockmaker in the series known as HD Townhouse. It had a bunch of his notes scribbled in there. They even sent me this penny, but I hadn't seen the show, so again, I just tossed it to the side. Eventually, I connected the dots when I saw the promo for season two, but still don't know how Netflix got my address or if I sent this to my past self. Either way, I finally caught up with the show, but you know, considering the time is a construct, maybe I'm early. The first season centers around this town where a boy has gone missing, leading everyone to investigate and uncover a lot of dirty secrets that the town has passed down between generations and vice versa. And while I'm a subs over dubs guy, because I love seeing the original performances, I do get playing it in English, especially when my ass was there keeping up with a calculator. But in terms of the genre and time travel movies in general, this is the definition in my eyes, the epitome of its kind. Does it get confusing, heavy, dark? Yeah, but is it worth it? I would highly recommend these timelines made by Taylor Holmes over on his Think Breakdowns because there are a lot, and I mean a lot of these family trees out there, but they just end up looking like oodles and noodles. So trust me when I say that there is no better family tree out there for the show. Uh, no reason for me to even recreate one because this dude has it made. They are detailed. He recognized that Hannah wasn't 100 from the start. And on top of it all, they're free. Obviously, the show demands your attention, so it's not really one to play in the background when the boys are over. But trust me when I say it is definitely worth the adventure the 26 episodes take you on so remember in spider-verse how kingpin funds his machine in order to bring back his deceased family but instead rips open the multiverse and won an oscar well that's this to a darker degree it's kind of like the theory that if time travel were to be discovered in the future then it would already be discovered now we just don't notice the time travelers amongst us the entire time you think you're watching a group who's trying to fix their world not realizing that they're just a loop that sprung about from the original world when ton house tried to save his family so it's kind of gutsy to be like these aren't even real people People. And the only reason that they're there, the only reason their inverted cycles continue, is because they're kept alive through their own deceit, their own violence, and of course Hannah not being 100. And the dude who started this all doesn't even realize it. I love how it takes multiple concepts and blends them together for the paradoxes to, in a sense, kind of like cancel each other out. I love how the show tackles the town's history and how traits or decisions caused by one generation still ripple into the next. Movies like Endless, which I really like, also cover that idea of us being our own pitfall, how we end up being stuck in loops because of our own desires, the illusion of free will that many times predestines people to their misery, and the idea that your own actions can come back to haunt you and your family, even if it ends up being a parallel you. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm curious to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, like I said, the fact that they had this all planned out from the start, I think is genius because it's very rare that that happens. And honestly, that's only possible, I think, because of like streaming services. Uh, I know Russian Doll on Netflix is also doing something similar where they have their, their full three just planned out, which is really cool because you know, I, I don't mind the shows that make it up as long as they go. Breaking Bad was one that did that, but it, it's cool to see that there's things that were already in season one that are just paying off by season three. 
three because everything's been set. Uh, there's there's very few things that I have like against the show. Probably one of the only things would be some of the casting and the idea of just putting bangs on someone so we recognize them from you know moment to moment. Uh, other than that, probably Netflix being disrespectful for thinking I'd skip the intro song. But I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on this. Any theories? Any other things that you guys have? Like I said, I'm working on a much longer video for this. Uh, there's so many things in there. Like besides the concept, just the characters I find very fascinating and all of the twists and turns that the show takes in. Um, but here's some other ones in case you had, uh, you know, more movies that you wanted to watch or shows. These are some of my favorite right here. If you have any recommendations, hit me up with them. Any other shows that you think are just as good, maybe even better. I'm curious to see them. Uh, but until next time, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Listen, this is a must